critic was in 2018. And uh, this time around, we thought we'd get to host him right here on Joy FM this year. In this month of September, let's get to find out what he's up to and what he's working on right here. But before that, let's get to throw it back a bit way, way back. I don't know if you still remember this song. Let's do this. It's like Clash of the Titans. Let's go. Part two. Go for the flag and build legs and turn it. KRFJ. Kill one. Do. Skin. Pop a bell.
says he didn't know that it was in this song. <laughs> can't remember recording that. You can't remember recording that song. I can't remember it's recording that song. verse. <laughs> but we did a lot of songs together, so it's all right. Yeah, it's but right. how have you been? How have you been? I've been great. How have you been? Not bad. I mean, we haven't spoken in what? Two, two, two years? years? Two years? <laughs> Just seeing the tweets. <laughs> you know how social media has made everything look like you... As talking to someone in a Yeah, like your front seat to their life Yeah, yeah. that uh, before you get to know it That you haven't chatted with uh, someone for a while mm. now I remember we had the, the last interview that we had That was in 2018 That was 2018, yeah, yeah. You were closer to town Yeah like, <laughs> I had to take a whole cab ride for four hours yeah, to get yeah. I needed my passport to come for this interview Okay <laughs> Okay, so, yeah. but anyways Let's talk about uh, what you've been up to of late mm. uh, What have you been working on just to keep your fans uh, up to date. All right. Uh, usually I only pop up when I've got important information to share with the people. Um, I've got an album coming out and that album is being released this Sunday. Mm. It's been out for pre-order. It's called Vision. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my third official studio album mm -hmm. and it's being released under Avocado Media. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So you wrote something on your uh, Facebook uh, before you expire. You need to inspire. Yeah. I've been following you a whole lot. And uh, also uh, what you are trying to uplift women. Mm. Maybe you can just tell us a brief about uh, that. I've been checking out you going a lot uh, uh, live on your Instagram handles as well. Oh, yeah. Um, you're probably referring to something that I was doing called the Pan-African Party. Yeah. Uh, so on the Pan-African Party, I just try to tell African stories. And on that particular episode that you tuned into, I was trying to uplift the women of Africa. You know, there's there's so much. It's I don't even think we have got enough time to speak on the number of wrong things that have been done to women in this country and on this continent, you know. So I just wanted to give them, you know, some energy and strength and positive vibes, send them their direction and let them know they're not alone in this fight, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I know I don't count for much, but they've got critic on their yeah, side, yeah, you know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's talk more on that side. Just an introduction part that we're just trying to get from you. Yeah. Let's get to do this right here on uh, the Joyful Lunch with our guest for today. <laughs> So seven all over again, baby. Just met. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Over the course of the next fifteen years, I will proceed to prove. Ain't nobody got bars like me out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just flexing, daddy. Okay, y'all. Uh, we just rapping, bro. <laughs> If I kick your rhyme like this, they thinking I might miss It's little niggas blotting, they trying to disarm my tits I'm on a different level now, I make some dumb like hits And all I gotta say is the third time's a charm, I guess How we made it out the bottom, if you ask I couldn't tell you next to third world political paraphernalia I'm yet to see a mouth that ran a Ferris and fell here So if you ain't as dope, it's now embarrassing, hell yeah My family stay eating and that's words and over gang When I was on my knees, they said it wasn't over Man, sending blessings to the sky for everything we overcame. Real recognize, real with soldiers, see a soldier, man. We risk it all for some peace, some quiet. Cause if you think my life is easy, man, I dare you to try. Dare you to drop this verse in this political climate. It's funny how my fear of heights probably made me a pilot. Made myself the guest of honor when I wasn't invited. Cause if you kick me out the building, man, I promise to riot. All I do is tell the truth. Sometimes it's hard to be quiet. Sometimes I hate my gift and wish I wasn't as but then I see these kids and I want them to fly Put that folded fist at the end of your arm to the sky Cause we ain't leaving this party without our palm on the prize If these niggas wish me success, why was they kind of surprised When we made record of the year, that's right, we didn't weep The people rock with me, I gave them what they need to believe You had the trap, so cause niggas really need to repeat Now women can't hold these smiles when they see me in streets 07 buzzing 07 buzzing and it's nothing.
If you haven't checked out the video for this particular song, you can still go on his uh, YouTube handle. Uh, check it out right there uh, with 1.04 subscribers right there. Oh, for real? We, yeah. uh, we hit the 1,000? Yeah. All right, that's great. That's <laughs> so great. Not, you have not been noticing. <laughs> no, no, I don't handle my social media, uh, Facebook pages and things like that. So mm. it's, yeah, interesting, <laughs> that's good. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> nice. So we're still having Critic right here on uh, the Jeff Lunch. And we'll later be finding out from you, our listeners, what you think. And also, you can also get a part of the show. It'll be later on the number 0960-969-269 or 0953-323-738. Let's talk about, uh, we all know and we are all affected with uh, the pandemic, yeah. coronavirus as well. You as an artist, how are you surviving? Um, I mean, first of all, through a lot of... Uh, you have to be in a positive state of mind, you know. Uh, a lot of us are cooped up inside the house. You can't do much. But um, this is also why I'm here to talk to you today because one thing that has been working for me since this pandemic started is actual digital sales mm -hmm. of my music, you know. Seeing as we cannot perform outdoors, seeing as we can't do shows, uh, people going online to purchase the music is really what's keeping us afloat right now. Mm -hmm. That's one of the ways that we have tried to find a way around the pandemic mm -hmm. right now. So it's easy to access. It's online. You just go to www.mvesesani.com and you can purchase it with your MTN mobile uh, account. You can also get it with your bank card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very simple stuff. Mm. So let's talk about, do you feel is as much as when you guys were making events compared to people streaming and buying music? Um, in a way, I actually think it's better because like, I don't have to exert any kind of energy to do this. I'm just sitting at home and people are buying the music, mm. you know? So yeah. it's like I'm literally doing nothing. Yesterday I got a check for my pre-orders and I was just in bed, mm -hmm. you know? So it's, uh, it's less time consuming. It's also, it puts you less at risk from contracting, you know, putting yourself at risk of catching Corona mm -hmm. or going out when you're out there so yeah mm -hmm. i think it's actually better for me mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. yeah. and your last album how did it do uh number one within 24 hours on investor society interesting yeah well interesting. it became the highest selling album ever on the platform within 24 hours mm. yeah all right interesting right there let's talk about uh also the other thing i'd like to find out from you uh yeah. it seems like we have a caller let's get to pick up this one good afternoon yeah good afternoon how are you great your name and where is from sir yeah yeah okay just in the copper belt kit way. But just in London, I'm going. All right. Uh, uh, good afternoon, uh, the artist today. Hey, how are you doing, Bakopa? Uh, what, what, what are the what, what are the album we are talking about so that we vote for it? Oh, okay. We're going to be giving you more details about that a little bit later. Okay, okay, okay. Right. <laughs> 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 we're, we're still having a chat with him, so to allow me to win. But anyways, you can also get a part of the show. Let's get interactive with the number 960 969 or 0953 323 Once again, our studio guest is Critic. Um, he calls his uh, old song, Bitumbua, as something that was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Um, we're having some fun. Not we'll... serious. There's very little that I do that's very serious. But, but, but it received <laughs> awesome response. Yeah, because it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but why not go on with such music if people were vibing to such music? Uh, because I never let the crowd dictate what I do. I dictate what I do. So if I choose tomorrow I'll make a Vitumbo, I'll make a Vitumbo tomorrow. If mm. I don't, I won't. Mm. People just have to come along for the ride. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. It's, like, it's like a ride. You just don't know where it's going to end up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Interesting right there. The other thing as well is uh, you call yourself one of uh, the best uh, Zambian artists in yeah. rap music. Yeah, yeah. I not, think not I'm the, just in I think Zambia, I'm the but continent. I think I'm the best lyricist in Zambia. I think I'm in contention for that title Africa-wide. Mm. I think I have to prove myself in Africa. I think in Zambia it's plain and simple to see mm. i don't think there's an argument here the only arguments come from rappers themselves mm -hmm. so i don't count that mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's, mm -hmm. but the people themselves seem to be of the opinion that i'm the best rapper mm -hmm. in zambia and people have been saying that for an elongated period of time mm -hmm. uh, i think i have a point to prove that i'm africa's best lyricist and i'm working on that one okay yeah. and also the other thing is uh hip-hop itself 
Yeah. At one point, people stopped listening to hip hop. I don't know if it's just me. Mm. Uh, now it's getting there. Are you happy with how it has been moving so far? Hip hop is the biggest genre of music in the world. On this globe that we're spinning on, mm -hmm. hip hop is the biggest. And it wasn't like that even 10 years ago. So that's how powerful hip hop is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's almost like R&B can't sell without hip hop. You know? They need a, like a hip hop feature mm -hmm. to, to endear them to the hip hop. There's no genre that can make it without. Even brands need hip hop now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Every, you, you, ha you have your hat backwards <laughs> as you're talking to me. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like hip hop is everywhere. Yeah. It's literally everywhere. It's a culture now. Yeah. So, yeah, there's no argument there. It's the biggest genre of music what in the world. What of the growth of it in Zambia? Um, step by step. Step by step. Um, there's some things that are obviously happening that are positive for the movement. There's some things that are negative for the movement. I like to focus on the positives than the negatives. I like how the young, how what the people are calling themselves the new wave. I like how they're carrying themselves right now. They're taking it very seriously. They're not taking any BS from anyone. You know, any, any gatekeepers trying to tell them, no, you guys should do it like this. They're, they're not listening to anyone. And me, I love that. I love that chaos about them. You know, I, I believe it's going to yield good results okay yeah. let's talk more once again on the other side we're still having a chat with uh, critic right here on joy fm once again let's go straight to something to the on my soul done by also the guest right here on the gym for lunch I put that on my soul, I'm in control, and if I should fall, I'm ready for more, I put that on my soul, I put that on my soul, I put that on my soul, I'm down for it all. I put down on my dough, put down for the town and my goals. I put down for the coal, the flesh and the pound that we owe. Shorties we found on the road, small little towns in the cold, drowning in bottles of whiskey. I need a model, you miss me, but I need a model to kiss me. You might need to follow the whiskey, you might need to swallow me quickly. You might find it hard to resist me. I'm focused on making this history, and you've been just sending you to fix me for the night, and that's alright. When I go, I'll be like more life. I ain't trying to make you my wife. Got enough madness in my life then you tell me i'm not your type and our dumb nigga act so bright i just smile like that's your life plus you were three your natural life <laughs> i'm such a vibe i'm such a vibe how we survive yo we alive i count the five open my eyes and we still here head to the sky the copper kid just made it possible man what a guy what a guy i put that on my soul i'm in control and if i should fall I'm ready for more. I put that on my soul. I put that on my soul. I put that on my soul. I'm in control. And if I should fall, I'm ready for more. I put that on my soul. I put that on my soul. Yeah. I put that on my soul. Yeah, we back on the road. Everybody been talking. Yeah, we back in the fold, and the people are vibing, like it's actually dope. If it's beef, then we ride it. Take it back to the smoke. Take it back to the 90s. Take it back to the grimy. That's for you and your family, and whoever gon' try me. You been moving so high key. I can tell you don't like me. I can tell you don't snipe me, but you envy me slightly. I've been building my strengths. Man, I'm breaking defenses. You niggas pretend. But you're looking defenseless Now you're close to the end I'm surrounding your trenches And I'm all in your head And I'm all in your mentions Man, I'm knocking the gates I'm Answers They looking to strategize We're making advances The rep in the MCU I'm repping the Panthers I put that on my soul I'm in control And if I should fall I'm ready for more I put that on my soul. I put that on my soul. I'm in control. And if I should fall, I'm ready for more. I put that on my soul. I put that on my soul. I put that on my soul.
Right down once again. Van no thrice once again. Van kex, van masala, van lubuto, van mushini, van down center, van minzundo. Wish you were there. He goes, Palinem Critic once again. That is something right there coming through on my soul. Amazing song, I should make mention. There's a way that you write your music. Mm. You know, there's just a way that it speaks to someone at the end mm. of the day. Let's talk about uh, what, what drives the motivation and also where all the ideas comes from at the end of the day. Um, for me, it's just music is an expression of everything I see. You know, so that's the inspiration behind it. It's stuff I see. It's, uh, for example, on my soul, when I was preparing for this album, when I was doing my research, I really wanted to make music that identified with Zambians. You know, even though it's hip hop, I really wanted Zambians to feel good about it. That's why we went to Ndola to shoot the video. That's like, you know, we gave it the authenticity that it deserved. And so that was the inspiration behind it. It wasn't, mm. I don't have to look very far for inspiration to write music. You know, mm. I could write a song about this interview. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's just like the stuff that happens in life that yeah. gives me yeah. motivation and inspiration. Mm. All right, so let's talk about is there anything that you feel we need to work on? Local artists, other artists. I remember you called on other artists as well, yeah. saying they need to challenge you, mm. they need to work extra hard. Yeah. So you felt like, uh, they're not challenging themselves at the end of the day. They're not challenging themselves. And it's a little bit sad for me that since then, you know, uh, since I said that, some took it personal and some took it like subliminals. You know what I mean? So this time around, I'm, I'm, I'm not really trying to bark up that tree. You know, I'm not trying to involve other people in it. But it, it's a little sad that people focus their music more on trends and things like that. You know, mm -hmm. I'm more about your music better speak for you and the truest version of you you know what i mean so and that's what i was challenging people to do like make better hip-hop music you know and i don't feel like people are making hip-hop anymore i feel like people are, are chasing a trend people are trying to play on channel o play on trace you know what i mean but like nobody really cares about hip-hop anymore which is what i'm here to do seeing as nobody else is gonna do it mm. might as well do it again mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So in in, the, in those aspects as well, there's some people who say you still have to have the drive and the inspiration based on uh, your local content, mm. and some people look down on the artists who rap in English or mm. do songs. In A lot of the people who used to tell me that aren't here anymore. I've outlived them in this industry, yeah. so they can shut up. You know, what <laughs> I mean? they're not they're not here anymore. Mm. I've heard this for over ten years. People have been telling me this repeatedly. You can't do hip-hop in Zambia. You can't do hip-hop. And those people are not here anymore, some of them. You know, so I guess I got the last laugh on that one. Mm. But still, people still give an example saying... Uh, they will also give an example. By the way, I was just doing some research. Some people will still come in and say, no, we still have uh, the likes of Sakodi from Ghana, still mm. made a name out of still... still Being Vernac. Yeah. It's okay, let people do that. And, uh, you know, there's always that thing. And also now, we're seeing a lot of local artists retiring. We don't know the reasons why, mm. but in those lines... It's because of, really of a very frustrating populace who don't really... Who are not so keen to support music. People who are more keen to tear down an artist than support them the way they want to be supported. Mm. You know what I mean? That's, what, that's why artists are retiring. Mm. That's the reason. Not everybody's thick-skinned doing music. Not everybody has what it takes. Some people who hear a few things and take it the wrong way and they're mm. out. That's mm. it. But you know? we expect you to retire anytime soon. Me? Um, no, no, no. I missed music. I missed making music. I already tried the retirement thing. It doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. So oh, I'm, I'm, I'm here for a you while. You still find yourself way yeah, back yeah. to what you love to do. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I'm enjoying it right now. I'm mm -hmm. really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. So... I'll stick around. All right. Well, as long as it's fun. Interesting. Yeah. Let's get to do this right now. Uh, once again, we're still throwing it back. I don't know if you should record this song right here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I do. We're throwing it back. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You won't believe who I got on the track. It's excited. You do it. You not see that as a kill me or anything but not you. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what to do for this one. Yeah. Feeling like I'm fresh off the runway. I told my daddy I will make you here one day. When my fitted to the side, I'm leaning. I'm a drug in the streets, they feeding. <laughs> so good for the whole crowd. 
around And the fast lane, they're telling me to slow down Took I got no time for no clowns Trying to make your front row when it goes down And my city don't fall back Every day we trying to grab a little more cash From the bottom and I ain't trying to go back So put a stack in the air till I'm on that On the fake just war, I declare So the ladies want to leave when I leave here And you know I've been hot for the watch Couple bell boy, don't you Hello. Now. I'm a 
I'm on the way now The world is like a playground I feel like I'm okay now I better find a way now And I'm stargazing 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 I'm just a little kid with a dream of a win You wouldn't know where I was headed if you seen where I've been It was dark outside, I was peeping the end I couldn't keep up the act, I was deep in the trench I was a really good player, I think deep in the bench I was fighting for a dad, I couldn't even avenge Man, it's deeper than French I, uh, man I'm on the way now The world is like a playground I feel like I'm okay now. So once again, we're still having a chat with our studio guest, right? Just in case you just locked on. Still on now the joint for lunch. And uh, we're still together today of uh, 3 in the afternoon. Right here on the joint for lunch, right on JFM. So the other thing, a quick one. Uh, let's get to find out something. So I played your songs. Yeah. So there's something that we do right on JFM. You have to pick on the three songs that you listen to during your free time. Okay. So we start with the first song. Any artist, you pick on any artist, any song that I listen to during my free time. Yeah. Hmm. Right now. And you give us a reason why you listen to that artist. This week, it's been uh, Nas Car 85. It's from his new album, it's called King's Disease. Mm. It's a really beautiful song. It's what I've been listening to this week. Apparently, any local? Uh, local music. Who am I listening to locally? Local. Sui Lanji. Okay. Her name is Lanji. She goes, yeah, she's got a song called Right Now. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very beautiful song. So that's one of the people who I'm listening to right now. Um, who else has got something dropped? C3. Mm -hmm. C3 is really good. Mm -hmm. C3 is also on my list. And yeah, I listen to a bunch, of, a bunch of stuff. A lot of the music I listen to isn't like playing on radio. I listen to it when the artists send it to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so, okay. So I'm, I'm probably listening to a bunch of unreleased stuff. And okay. Stuff that you guys haven't yet heard. So from those artists, we have uh, Lanji. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know, so we Lanji, Lanji, yeah, uh, right there as well. She's a new artist on scene. Yeah, she's a new artist on the scene, but she's amazing. Few, pe few people would pick on an upcoming artist, and upcoming artist always complain on that one right there. Why did you pick on her? Maybe is it because maybe you know her? I don't. Or maybe I don't. Believe, the music? I don't believe in the word upcoming artist. Mm -hmm. I, artists are artists, you know. So for me, I heard a nice song, and then I was like, "Yo, who did this?" And they mm -hmm. told me who the artist was. I don't. I, if anything, I hate the word upcoming but, 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 artist. Do you also listen to a couple of songs when someone wants to work with you? Like they send you songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the song, you know what I mean? Like, mm. I've also got my own style and taste of music. Mm. So, it, we have to have common ground for us to work. It, for example, it can't be a rumba song, you know what I mean? Like, we have to have some common ground for it to work out. Uh, so, yeah, that's how I listen to music. I, mm. I, it's rarely about whether it's an upcoming artist, as you say. For me, art is art, right? It's, it's, it's us, the listeners, who just haven't heard the music yet. Mm -hmm. Right, so mm -hmm. to some music that you haven't heard, it may seem upcoming, but that's been an artist for like 10 years doing their own thing, mm -hmm. you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. so one of the artists did complain. I don't know if you're aware about that. His name is uh Dilla Trick. Oh, that's a child. he wanted to work with you, yeah. And you guys had a conversation, said it again. So, let me let me let, let me set the uh, the record straight, right? Dilla Trick used to be my my young brother's uh schoolmate. Right, I think they were, they were even like uh, roommates at one point. Mm -hmm. So I kept bugging my young brother for the number, and I told my brother he shouldn't give out my number to anybody. So I don't know how this guy got my number from my young brother, and then called me, and he was like, "Yo, I'm Delatric, I'm your brother's friend, and yada yada yada." And I was like, "All right, cool. What's the story?" And he was like, "I'd like to feature you on a song," and I said, "Fine. Here's my amount for getting featured on a song." Right. And he was like, yeah, but that's uh, not even the biggest artist charge that much. So I was like, well, that's not really my issue. You know what I mean? Like, it's you who wants me on the song. It's <laughs> not me who came to you like, here's my charge, then feature me on the song. And he was like, yeah, but you need to change your attitude. So that's what upset me. I'm like, come on, man. Like, it, when you go to ShopRite and you can't afford bread, you don't start yelling at the owners of ShopRite. <laughs> go back home, get some money. And come back and pay for it, mm -hmm. you know. So as far as even 
speaking on that situation, I would, I would rather not. Like, that's just what happened, and he's a very, very childish person, mm -hmm. you know. So what, what is the right way to approach you if someone wants to work with you? You approach me with respect, mm -hmm. you know, because as soon as I give you my price, then it becomes F-critic, and you know what I mean? You came to me, you know. And also respect me, man. I've been doing this for a little bit longer than you, mm -hmm. you know. There's a yeah. few things I know that you don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, I'd rather that uh, we showed each other mutual respect, man, mm -hmm. instead of using screenshots to get, to get downloads for your song because you couldn't afford to get featured. On. Like, I don't understand what part of that is my fault. He's mad at me because he couldn't afford me for a feature. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what have I done wrong? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Other than being expensive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, come correct when you come at me for a feature. Okay. Yeah, come correct. Come with the right amount. Mm -hmm. Not my sister. Mm -mm. <laughs> nah. Come correct. Come correct. That's yeah. critic right there saying it right now. But we have so many artists out there. I know a number of them who wants to work with you. Mm -hmm. Not just Dilla Trick, but a lot of artists out there as well at the end of the day some are good artists mm. is it always about the amount that you charge or maybe sometimes there's so look, an this, angle this that whole, you get to this whole year i've been sending out free verses right for me if i really like when i send out a free verse is if i like the song you know what i mean sometimes there's music that people just send me and i'm like i'm not even gonna charge you for this this is a really good song i'm yet to hear many songs like that from artists who complain about not being able to make the money to pay me you know but uh for example um c3 reached yeah. out to me and he just said hey man i'm a hip-hop artist i'm worried i saw his vision and i sent him a free verse you know what i mean uh, there's a guy called mc recently whose verse i jumped on kb mm -hmm. pulled me up i jumped on you know what i mean like if if it's worth it for me i'm gonna do it mm -hmm. but you must also understand that i'm a person who treats his music as my nine to five hustle so I'm not stopping what I'm doing to come give you a free verse. Yeah. If your song isn't even nice, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? If mm -hmm. I don't even like the song, I'm, just, it's not, I'm not going out of my Has way. Has something like that happened to you before trying to reach out to an international artist that they don't respond to you? Have you I, ever I, tried something I like don't, that? I've never reached out to anybody for a song. Mm. Never, my whole life. Interesting. I was going to play uh, Lunch right here right now, picked by our studio guest, Critic on the Joyful Lunch. So many times you try to blame me about the things that I didn't do And I know how hard it is to hide the fact that I keep falling I'm falling in love with you Now it's in and you can't go now With your body, one year, I'm out in my hand But I gotta let you know That I can never let you go So love me right now, now later If this the offer, man, tell me to later I choose you Gotta let you know that I can never let you go. So love me right now, not later. If this the offer, man, tell me the later. I choose you, you, you. I choose you, you, you. So love me right now, not later. If this the offer, man, tell me the later. I choose you, I choose you, you, you. We fight to the rhythm now. Da 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 da. I 
gotta let you know that I can never let you go. So love me right now, now later. If this be over, better tell me say later. I choose you, you, you. I choose you, you, you. So love me right now, now later. If this be over, better tell me say later. I choose you. Lanji right there, picked by Critic. Do you also feel like it's high time people stopped going for the names but started listening to good music? Yes. 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 A hundred percent. Yes. 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 Especially because I also feel like the names aren't doing very well in that department. Mm. You know what I mean? I feel like for the last, say, three, four years, I feel like the identity of Zambian music has been carried by what you would term underground or unestablished acts. You know what I mean? Uh, so just for the sake of you finding better music, I think you should go for the music and not the names. Okay. Yeah. So how do you think we should change people's uh, pers uh, pers like how to make them perceive? Um, so the one thing, the number one thing that you can do if you're a fan of Zambian music, right, mm. is just buy music. That's the first like rule number one. If you want to see the artists go far, buy their music. Before you, we even start discussing, you know, any, any other of the intricacies, just first and foremost, go on a legalized site. If they have the music on iTunes or whatever, buy their music. Because mm -hmm. that way, you're putting them in a position to effect whatever change you want them to make mm -hmm. into reality, right? If a million people bought any artist's music on Investasani right now, that changes the life of that artist that changes Mvesasani as a platform mm -hmm. you know as a Zambian platform that cares for Zambian artists that yeah. puts pun uh, like money and power in their in their reach mm -hmm. you know so they can do things like imagine uh, an award ceremony that doesn't have to be funded mm -hmm. you know what I mean imagine an award ceremony that's just made by a team of musicians or people who are passionate about music and they put it out, you know, you don't have to have the bureaucracy about it. You don't have to have people sliding envelopes, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like it could just go straight if people have got the money and the power to do things. Mm -hmm. So the best way you can support an artist is to just buy their music. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about uh, Vision. Yeah. Something that I'm super excited about, mm -hmm. looking forward. Yeah. Uh, I, I checked out uh, Pilato was saying something as well in those lines, saying everyone has a vision. Why did you decide to get to name your album Vision? Where did it, where did it all start from? Um, so when I did 07 Buzzing, when I was recording 07 Buzzing, I looked back and realized for the last 10 years, I sort of, everything I've been doing was to end up here. That was the vision. You know what I mean? That was the plan. The plan had been to, when I was just a kid in Indola writing bars at the back of my textbooks, I had wanted to be one of the most revered rappers in this country. And I did it, you know what I mean? Like, it all started as a joke, and oh, snap, here we are on Joy FM talking about it, you know? So that's the vision, and that's what I wanted to translate to the listener or whoever is experiencing the album. It's that for you to get where you're going, you have to see where you're going first. You have to have that vision first. You have to have that plan, and then start taking steps towards your goal, you know? So this album is basically just the steps towards the African goal. Good. Yeah. All right. So, how many tracks do we expect? Collaborations, features? I don't be featuring a lot of people. Uh, I only got one feature on this one. Uh, the only feature is from Zubs, the last letter, who is a South African MC who I grew up listening to, one of my idols. Uh, everything else is all me. Why? Because I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so you can work with any other, uh, any so, other local artist. Uh, especially on this album, being Vision, it was a very personal album. You know, so I did a few songs with other people and they just didn't make the album. You know, we had, we recorded about 18 songs and picked 10. So the features were on the others. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The feeling of being on others. Yeah, it's on the others. The features are ETC. <laughs> and many more. And many more. Behind the poster. <laughs> okay, so only one artist made it. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah. But, but It's very difficult working with me. Eish. Like, it's very, very difficult. I don't do, 
Like I could have a big name on a song, mm. but if the song doesn't feel good to me, we're not putting that song out. Mm. We are never putting that song out. Like never. <laughs> I, could, I could have an exile chorus, yeah. and I'm not putting out the song. You know what I mean? Mm. It's, for me, it's about does it feel right? Do you really like the song yourself? I have to like the music first and foremost before I ever put it out. Mm. So anything you ever hear from me that's ever released, just know I love those songs. They went through a process of saying this out, this out, this mm -hmm. out. Then I finally gave you the final part. Interesting. Uh, so what makes it so different from the other albums that you have dropped? This one, what makes it different? Um, with this one... I think this is my happiest album. I think that's the first thing that stands out for me as I listen to it. Somebody, uh, one of the people on my team said, you had the most fun making this album. Like, mm -hmm. it's, I'm not complaining at all on this album. It's just a happy album. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling happy, feeling confident, feeling optimistic. So I think that's what would be the difference with this one. It's, um, I added a lot of optimism, a lot of love. It's, it's a happy album. If, mm -hmm. if it was a, it's a bright album, should mm -hmm. I say, mm -hmm. you know? It's a good listen. It's it won't get you feeling depressed. It's good vibes all the way. Mm -hmm. That's the difference with this one. It's just straight out good vibes. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting stuff. Let's get your remix on the other side before we get wrap it up with our studio guest right here on Joy FM once again. A few minutes that we have before we get wrap it up. Twelve more minutes to go on the joyful lunch. Today we commissioned the special task force against whack MCs. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, most welcome to the whack rapper roast. I now present to you, first up, hailing from the brainstorm and the brains itself, excess. Buy the album, you mm -hmm. know, none of this it is uh, worth it if you don't buy the album. You know, for me to be able to keep doing this, for me to... Music is very expensive to make, you know. Yeah, true. Uh, the music videos are very expensive to shoot, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm an independent artist, so if you support the music and you feel even just a little bit nice mm -hmm. when the music plays, the best thing for you to do would be to support the music, to okay. purchase it. Okay. So go to mvesesani.com. Uh, that's www.mvesesani.com. N -I dot C -O -M, and you can purchase your favorite local artist's music. Mm -hmm. For now, I really want you to purchase my music, but you can go on there and support whichever artist's music you want to support. Yeah. I'm right. just for you buying music. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I have something for you. Uh, we all know that we can't just let you go uh, without that. <laughs> we can't let you go just like that. We can't just let you go like that. Like so I have an instrument. Oh, I have man. an instrument that I want to share with you. So we are playing it right now so that you can get, have an idea okay. what kind of instrument we have right. On the other side, let's get to hear what you have to do. Uh, we have seven minutes. All right. Hey, yo, what's good, people? It's Khaled, 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 Khaledocious the best. Khaledocious the best. And you're listening to DDD DJ JPMC. Keep it loud. So we're doing this right now with uh, <laughs> Critic. <Man. laughs> All right. Yeah. Go. So let's do this right now. All right. Murderous rhyme ethic, my method is quite advanced, so you can tell it when I flex with. I mess with rhymes that's designed effortlessly, they press me, but I weather tsunami storms, New Orleans with no feature. I'm a product of both sides, I'm Gogeta, and I ain't here for the dance. I'm here for my million dollar plans, a co verse, a whole feature, and don't tell me what to do with these bars. From ninth grade, I was just hanging with the bars. Now I'm with PMC from NDCB. You see me, we laughing at the top like he he. And I'm just killing the flow off the freestyle. So many bars, you think I featured in eight mile. Hey, on six foot, take a let's go. And I blast with the rhymes and the fresh flow. You understand when I go or the stress go. And when I rhyme, all the people in the streets know. The KRs from the C to the B, yo. 
and I just kill it all day. I see y'all. Get vision, get vision, get vision, get vision. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> my vision, my vision. Oh my goodness. What's, what's that? Was that the freestyle? A little bit of it. <laughs> a little bit. I love your honesty. <laughs> a little bit. I gotta keep it honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was amazing. That was amazing. Uh, Critic, before I get let you go, a quick one. Yeah. So I have a surprise guest in two minutes. Mm. I want you to get to give your critic. Okay? Of them. Of him. Of him. He's coming through right now. Oh, man. He's coming you... through right now. Why'd you got surprised? So let's do this right me. now. something right now a quick one i know critic like you always make me like we were talking about embracing new art mm. i feel like this guy is one of the guys that also needs people's attention okay um i met i just checked him out on social media okay and i felt like okay let me just get to do this right now his name is uh jt5 okay let's do this right now a quick one You able to get the beat? Yeah. All right, good to go. Mm. Yeah, this is it. Tavachi money. Mr. PM, still what up? Hit it and see. Well, now no one got told. Well, now no one got told. Yo, yo. I put the sense, I put the sense. Rebel and become a gent, but won't you think? 
After this, we got my pants, cause I got the world was snitch, don't pretend. At least the bone and my friends, mm, I probably start to swat and send, but if they suck at this, don't attend, the meeting are there for me, but don't attend. Me, 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 me Spot and strong, glorious band no CSU. Hey, boy, mona kitu alila. Oh wait, hold on, I think now it's on the So yeah, so that is JT5. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. very impressed. I'm, I'm very impressed. You sound better than most of the people you don't think you sound better than. Mm. Okay. You know, I'm you sound okay. better than most of the people I've been on songs with. Mm. You know, what I mean? so yeah, so keep doing what you do. Interesting. Keep doing what you do. Thank you very much for coming through. Case. No pressure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, let's get to sign out right here on uh, the Jeff Lunch with uh, some uh, throwback once again. All that's that coming up next is a uh, fireman with the rush hour. Ambient generation music. Rap Kuro.